Hi, I wanted to share a little personal message and thoughts about Israel. Um, feel free to skip this. I wasn't sure if I should put an episode out this week. I feel like at any given moment, nearly 100% of my mind and attention, and definitely all of my emotional energy, has been on processing the events this last weekend in Israel. This is not a news podcast and certainly not a geopolitical podcast, but this is a personal podcast. It's been a space over the last few months where I've shared a lot about what I'm thinking about and processing. Sometimes that's a new climate startup or some way that I'm thinking about things. But at the end of the day, it's a bit of a window into my lens on the world. I am no expert on the events unfolding, but I am an expert on my own personal experience over the last week. It's been a week of feeling pain. I feel it in my gut, in my head, and a deep tension in my jaw. I feel pain for my cousins in Israel who had friends murdered on Saturday. I feel pain for those cousins that now have to go to war to ensure the people in their country can live safely. I feel pain for my friends who have spent the last week consoling their kids as the sirens go off. And I just can't do it. I can't not feel the loss of life, the trauma to the families, the loss of sense of safety for kids and for their parents. And I feel pain for all the families in Gaza that wanted no part of this attack. I feel pain for all the trauma that will come to all the families and all the parents and all the kids in the whole region. And I feel pain for what it must do to the soul of somebody to be able to slaughter a child. And I feel pain for my community of friends and family here watching all of this. I think so many are feeling what I am as we process what we're learning each day. I just want to close with reading a poem that was sent out by Rabbi Will Berkowitz. He is now the executive director of the Jewish Family Service here in Seattle, and he happened to be the rabbi who married me and my wife seven years ago and is a close friend. It's a poem written in 1976 by Yehuda Amichai. The diameter of the bomb was 30 centimeters, and the diameter of its effective range was seven meters, with four dead and 11 wounded. And around these, in a larger circle of pain and time, Two hospitals are scattered, and one graveyard. But the young woman, who was buried in the city she came from, a distance of more than 100 kilometers, enlarges the circle considerably, and the solitary man mourning her death at the distant shores of a country far across the sea includes the entire world in the circle. And I won't even mention the crying of orphans that reaches up to the throne of God and beyond, making a circle with no end and no God.